Hey guys, it's Cassie. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a seasoned subscriber. Today I'm going to be showing you my designer mini bag collection. You know I love me a mini bag. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Fridays, sometimes Mondays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. I have um, started quite a little collection. You know, it's nothing crazy. I have six mini bags here to show you. Some of them you've seen before, some you have not, okay? And make sure to stick to the end because the one at the end, there's a real story with that one. Okay, if any of these are still available, they will be linked below. Starting us off with the OG, okay? The bag that started this trend off. The one, the only, the original, Bow, 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 bow. The Jacquemus Le Chiquita. Well, actually, this is the Le Chiquita, okay? Because this one's got little little hinges there. They don't do this style anymore. Um, it is just the Le Chiquita, which has, which has, you know, the attached handles stiffen on there. Um, but I'm bundling her into one and the same. Look, Jacquemus came out with this bag, and everyone got a little bit shook. Everyone was like, what do you put in it? Oh my gosh, I can't fit anything in there. Blah, blah, blah. What is the point of this? If we're being honest, right? I love this for a little evening flex, okay? A dinner, a date night, something like that. I also have worn it for like, um, you know if you go to an event in a stadium where you can only take a very small bag or whatever? Hello, I crossbodied her. Now, she does come with the um, crossbody strap as does the normal Chiquita. You can fit your cards, your keys, a, a little bit of gum, you know, possibly a lip gloss. Lip gloss be popping, you know? Let's be honest, we're talking about mini bags here, okay? You're not gonna carry around your entire house in this, you know? What, but the, the thing that I love about mini bags is that they have such a flex behind them that I just cannot articulate properly. It's almost like I'm on another level that I need to carry next to nothing. You know, I don't understand how to describe it, but it's a flex and it exists and it's there. This is the iconic mini bag. If you're going to get any mini bag, this is the one you need to get your hands on. This has firmly planted itself into a piece of fashion history and it truly deserves its place at the top. So the second mini bag is one that I haven't really shown very much here. This is the mini Dior Diorama. I just absolutely live for the finish of this bag. She is in this kind of, it's a gold, but it's not like a, it's kind of like a muted, like mixed with gunmetal. Um, you have the little Dior Diorama crest thing here. She opens with a, with a pop. Um, and she has, a glorious long chain. So you can cross body, you can double her up and make her into a little shoulder bag situation. You have a card slot. It's not really a card slot, but it's like that little pouch thing at the back there that you could put some stuff in. Um, you could fit more in this than you can the La Chiquito, but again, let's not go crazy, you know? It is a mini bag. Now, the chain strap is also detachable. It's got a little little lobster claw there. So you can just take her off and just carry her as just a little, just a little, uh, just a little golden Dior moment, you know? I mean, I even love holding her like this with all the chains. The chain is lovely and heavy. Mm, quality. Bag number three. Can we even call it a bag? The Petit Le Chiquito. Okay, so this is what I mean by the Chiquito. You know, like how the handles are, are attached, right? I mean, what do we, what do we even say about her? This is just um, a tiny piece of ridiculousness that captured my heart from the moment I saw it. I personally feel like the Jacquemus design team was like, wow, everyone's been like talking trash about the Le Chiquito and talking about like, what can you put in it, blah, blah, blah. And they were like, sod it. Let's really, let's really get these bitches shook. Let's make it tiny and ridiculous. And guess what? People are gonna buy it people like me. The orange just absolutely stole my heart. I think when I pre-ordered it, it was also in like a black and a white and I was like, no. Okay, we need a pop. We need a pop because already she's hard to see. You know, let's make her at least a little bit bright so that eyes are drawn towards her. Now, I know that Jamie, oh, I want to try and pronounce her last name as Chi. 
I'm not sure, apologies if that is a terrible pronunciation. She also did her like mini bag collection and she mentioned that with this one she had the straps taken off. Now, I have worn this as a necklace and I've also worn it as like a little belt bag situation. Very cute, love her. But I would absolutely love to just flex like that, right? And this long strap is really making that hard for me. So what I'm planning on doing is, I'm going to get them to remove the strap, but instead of, can they like add like a tiny lobster claw so that I can have it on or off and I can have that, you know, I want the options, you know? I mean, look at that, right? She opens with like a little thing. I don't put anything inside her. Let's be honest, I can't fit anything in there and I've got long nails, right? And I know that people are like, this is a level of consumerism that's gone too far, blah, 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 okay? You don't come here for practicality, you know? Take your logic and put it elsewhere. Because I'm sorry if you don't look at this and your heart doesn't beat like just a little bit faster and you're not like, then, you know, that's your cross to bear and that is your problem. Because let me tell you, she is adorable. And if you have a problem with it, truly like, you need a little bit of fun in your life, you know? So we have another brand, which is Gelare Mizrahi. So here we have this emerald tiny queen. I found out about this brand because of um, Holly Anna Ree here on YouTube. Love her. If you don't subscribe to her, subscribe to her. She's fantastic. Anyway, so she got one of these and then I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what brand is this? Excuse you. <laughs> I need one. Also comes with a crossbody strap. I flexed with this one on Christmas Day. Picture insert. Just to let you know what kind of level I was on there. Um, we have a magnetic closure and this I really enjoy. Again, very cute. You've got that top handle moment that I know and love. And they do these in like a range of colours and all of that. It's like a money green and it's emerald and she's cute and she's still a pop. She's a muted pop, you know? The next bag is another Dior bag that I'm going to put in here. Ooh! I feel like within its category, it is mini. And that is the Dior oblique saddle belt bag situation. Talked about her recently, so I won't go into too much detail. She comes with her um, belt there for a, for a chest moment, or you can just hold her as a clutch living her best life. Now, again, you can actually fit a phone in this, you know? She's got like a zip area for coins and knickknacks, I don't know, and then she has two little like card slots as well. So a little bit more practical than the others, but still a tiny cutie patootie just hanging out living her best life in the glorious green Dior Oblique print, you know? And finally, if you follow me on Instagram, you know the ordeal I went through around this bag, okay? And my gosh, a journey it has been. Galare Mizrahi had a pop-up in Selfridges. And I was in Selfridges and I thought, you know what, sod it. I'm going to get one. And I bought a glorious cobalt colour. Now, they had an artist that was sat there and for free of charge, she could have whatever you wanted um, customised on the bag. So I thought, fantastiche. I left it with, the, I described what I wanted, I left it with them, came back to pick it up, took it out of the bag, and um, a tear pricked in the back of my eyes. It looked, um, for lack of a better word, right? It was awful. It was truly the worst. I just spent £230 and I'm never going to use this bag. And because it's customizable, I can't even sell it. I thought it's just going to live in the back of my wardrobe forever, dying a death. So I have used the restory for absolutely years, right? And so they saw this travesty of a bag and reached out to me and was like, you know what, let's see what we can do. And then they came back with three design ideas based on me and my personality and my channel and everything else. And they came up with three ideas, all of which were fabulous but one was the most me thing I'd ever seen. Here we have my Gallery of Mizrahi bag, revamped, given a new life by the restory with this glorious, okay, so they dyed the whole thing black. They made this incredible like patent leather, oh, it's the C with the dollar signs. It makes so much sense for me. Um with that on the top, with the orange, neon orange piping. I'm sorry. Hi, come fall winter, this is going to happen. Okay, and I cannot wait for it. Wow, 
It's going to be sickening. Now it is a bag that I am proud to use. Um, they, it's actually insane that this is the same bag, truly. They dyed the crossbody and everything and she is a whole new woman. Let me know what you thought about my collection and what you think about mini bags in general. Guys, I'm going to link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.